Yes, welcome back, welcome back. This is still Why in the Morning. Thank you for staying with us. If you're just joining, well, you are on time for the first conversation of the day on Strength of a Woman. And today, uh, we have a special conversation being the Mental Awareness Month. We want to talk about dealing with disappointment. How exactly should we go about dealing with uh, such situations? And for this, we are joined by a counselor, professional counselor, and who's also a teacher. She is called Zipora Wanyeki, Karibu Zipora. Asante sana, how are you? I, I'm good. Glad to have you again with us. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so now you're a resident guest. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> All right, so you want to talk about uh, dealing with disappointments, <coughs> but first we want to understand disappointment. Mm -hmm. What is mm -hmm. disappointment and what forms does it come, you know, in form of what forms are there? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Eh? Um, it's, it's, it's good that this topic has come in handy after we've, we're done with elections, campaigns, mm -hmm. and now we're in a new government. Eh? Uh, talking of disappointment, I'll start by telling you that I know at one given time, you've ever been disappointed. Yeah. A lot. Mm -hmm. As long as you're living under the sun, you have been disappointed. Mm -hmm. So what is this we are calling disappointment? It is purely that emotion. We, we, we classify it as, a, as an emotion when we are teaching about uh, types of emotion. Disappointment is an emotion. Mm -hmm. And when does it crop in? It comes when you do not meet your expectation. So it comes in the form of sadness. Mm -hmm. You are very sad. You're very unhappy. You feel frustrated. Mm -hmm. You feel like you want to, you know, you want to kill someone. You want to do something nasty because you haven't met your expectation. So when you are, your expectation does not meet, uh, meet the outcome, the, it does not match the outcome, definitely we say you are a disappointed person. And you wouldn't wish to see a disappointed person. They come in all forms. Eh? And talking of disappointment, I know you, you, you being a lady, uh, we, we, we get disappointed every other now and then. You've been to a tailor, uh, yeah. you've taken your fabric, <laughs> and all tailors by nature, they'll tell you, yeah, I'm going to make you a very nice outfit. Yeah, I know how to make it. Come tomorrow in the afternoon, yeah. you'll see it. <laughs> On the material day, you go, either he has closed, mm. or if he's there, it's now that he's, when Starting. they see you, they start getting the fabric and trying to cut it and pretending to look busy. <laughs> Okay. And uh, I, I know somebody who never used the attires they had bought for the wedding <laughs> because you, you get disappointed. disappointed. Yeah. Uh, it, it can be anything. Picture someone who has, uh, if you have the little young ones and it's their birthday and they keep on reminding you every single day, Mom, for my birthday I want Sophia the first cake. Mm. And you go and you ask the baker and they say, nobody will ever tell you they don't know. They even have photos of what they can bake. Yeah, yeah. On the material day, you go to collect the cake. I, I know you've seen those things trending of what you asked for and versus what you, what you got. Exactly. You it's look at the, the cake. Yes, you, you want this time, <laughs> you show the picture and then how you look after, totally different. Yes. <laughs> you look at what you have and you wonder, did I really bargain for this? Mm -hmm. Why another am I here? So you get disappointed. So disappointment is all over. We are talking about campaigns. They have just ended mm -hmm. the other day. So we are going to come and look at the forms of disappointment that, that, that they are there. And you'll notice that people are disappointed in this country quite. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Some people deal with this. Okay, before we get to even dealing with disappointment, mm -hmm. what does uh, disappointment that therefore lead to? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it might come and lead to other things because we are talking about the month of uh, mental health awareness. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll come and tell you that when you're disappointed and you're not able to deal with it, because we say life is 1% what happens to you. And 99% how you react. How you react to it. How you react to it eh? mm -hmm. So it's all about how have you been able to react to the disappointment. And uh, uh, the other time we had a show here, I told you that um, uh, the brain, the way our brain is wired through the neurotransmitters, the same nerve that receives pain when you are cut mm. is the same, same nerve that receives emotional pain. Okay. When you get breakup, that is why it manifests in crying, manifests in you, you know, blowing your nose, shedding tears, feeling angry, all those things. Because you're, you, the, the same nerve that would have been cut, uh, would have received that pain, is the same, same nerve. So you will cry. Mm -hmm. So it will lead to many other things because one of them is depression. One of them is depression. So can we look at the form so that I tell you how they lead to depression? Yes, yes, yes. Think about um, something like marriage, for example. Okay, before we come to marriage, start with the relationship. Mm -hmm. Relationship whereby a boy and a girl are there, uh, very happy. And, you know, there's this feeling like you are the only people in the universe. Mm -hmm. You are in love and nobody else in this world is in love. Mm 
you like this person you know they call you every other yeah. now and then asking you nothing whatever you're talking is nothing mm, but have you, you feel eaten? like you're over the moon babe umekula <laughs> babe have you, are you blinking i mean seriously who doesn't <laughs> so then after some time uh -huh. two weeks to marriage you notice that this guy has a family so there's no way that wedding is going to happen this person has a serious breakup Mm -hmm. Now that is serious disappointment. You are disappointed because you trusted this person too too much. You did not de do your mathematics very well. So mm -hmm. that's a form of disappointment. Higher. Yeah, you've yeah, crossed yeah. there. You've come to marriage. Okay. Another serious form of disappointment. Stephanie on your wedding day, it's I actually call it drama. Mm -hmm. The bridegroom nobody cares. The bride you enter, you are in white from the hair, from the shoes, from the what? I mean, you are white. And everybody, kunagari ya bibiarusi, meza ya bibiarusi, everything is about bibiarusi. You're standing there, you're walking down the aisle, and everybody is standing. Can we all stand and clap? The bibiarusi is coming, the bride is coming. You think that you're going to get that attention for the rest of your life. Shock on you. In the evening, that is when the drama ends. You go to honeymoon, you come back, and you re I, I was telling another group that uh, men, uh -huh. they are they're, 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 they're project driven. So you are a project they have accomplished, so they go to the next they project. The next of thing. course, you go to the, you're done with this, now move to the next project. They're building or they're doing something else. Okay. So this girl thinks that she's going to be the project forever. So be the she realizes, huh, this man can even come late. Ah, today I received a slap. Ah, I called and he hasn't even answered. You realize that, ah, Marriage is a scam. That's what I hear people oh, say. Yeah, so Marriage yeah. is a scam. You're not getting the expectation. The, he doesn't match up to your standard. They used to be very careful in the way they were treating you and calling you. Today you're only receiving maybe one call if you're lucky or mm -hmm. not at all per day. Mm -hmm. You become very disappointed. You wonder, is this what I bargained for? Yeah. Is, is this what I was looking for? You aren't used to being commanded here and there. Now they ha you have to borrow permission, ask for permission wherever you're going. What? So that's another form of disappointment. That is in marriage. Mm -hmm. And um, when we are teaching people about um, marriage counseling, we tell them the greatest cause of marriage breakup and divorce is actually unmet expectation. It's and not cheating. Expectation. Yeah. So the disappointment. Oh yes. It's mm -hmm. not cheating. It is not what it is not what it is unmet expectation. Mm -hmm. When you go to these people and you're expecting this is go what is going to happen and you find that is not what is happening. You feel ah you it's feel shortchanged. Yeah. yeah. So that is one of the main causes of divorce if you go doing your research very well. So that is in marriage. You come to work. Mm -hmm. Everybody would want to climb up there. The famous interview question, where do you see yourself in five years' time? You tell them, I see myself as the CEO of this company. Five years, you've not even moved from one department <laughs> to the next. You're still in the, the same, same department. Mm. And you've been working hard. Mm -hmm. You come very early in the morning. You live very late. As if that is not enough. A fresh graduate comes from, I don't know, nowhere, and she's promoted. You are so disappointed. You feel like what you're giving to the organization, they are not, not giving it back to you. Mm -hmm. That's a form of disappointment that happens. And it is common. Mm -hmm. Another one common is in school. That one everybody can relate. Yeah. <laughs> in school, uh, there's this topic, umeku kisomia chemistry the whole night, the whole time. You even tell everyone chemistry is your best subject. You've crammed all the, 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 the chemical symbols and the you know them all fed mm -hmm. on the material day of the exam. Not a single question comes from what you've been studying. <laughs> they bring questions from all the other topics, except what you've studied. Exactly. You fail. So you used to be a bookworm and everybody knew. In class, you wake up at four to go and study while the others are sleeping. You don't go for functions, funkies, music festivals and what because you're studying. And then you hammer a D. That's a disappointment and a serious one. Mm -hmm. And if you're not taught how to deal with disappointment, it can end up being too be nasty. Mm. So <clears throat> talk about campaign that have just ended. Yeah. Actually, people are disappointed in Kenya. Uh, I, I met someone who told me, Zipporah, if this is how people feel, then I know I'm feeling. Because out of the six candidates, president, uh, the, the, the governor, the senator, the what, all the people that I voted for, they failed. None has been selected. <laughs> Not even <laughs> one. And like this That's unlikely. a really disappointment. I yeah. was very disappointed. Mm -hmm. So maybe you are there. You 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 are the, the, the you are vying for an MCA seat, mm -hmm. and while you are vying for it, you've sold your cows. Even your clan has helped you, and you've promised them. I'll buy for you. I'll do this and this. You've taken some bank loans and whatnot because you are very sure. Mm -hmm. 
When yeah. you go to the ground and you ask people, they tell you, Nairobi yote tumiambua ni wewe, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> when you go outside yeah. there, you know people, I mean, I don't know why Kenyans, we are never frank with people. You, you even find people with t-shirts printed, uh, your, 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 your picture on it, mm -hmm. and with your name. Na wanakuita muheshimiwa. Sure. You start attending matanga, you start attending all those things, mm -hmm. and while you're there, you, you're using money. Everybody who smiles at you, some money. It's something. not for free. And they are singing for you, vile watamuka mapema kukuchagua. Mm -hmm. On the material day, you go there, you realize that only a handful voted for you, probably your wife and a few sympathizers there. Yeah. All the others, they knew who was their favorite candidate. So you have failed. You feel totally disappointed. And it comes with other illnesses. You find that this person is not even eating not talking to people, not doing what, you do not want anything, you feel depressed. Mm -hmm. That's a form of disappointment, the campaigns, and so many other things that we, could, we can talk about in life uh, that are forms of disappointment, but those are mainly the ones that really affect the, our... The common our, forms, uh, yeah. Yes. And is it, uh, you've said it's something uh, that uh, we cannot evade. Ah, you something. can't evade disappointment. As long as, actually uh, there's a famous quote that says, if you want to avoid disappointment, avoid expecting too much from people. Do not expect anything from anyone. That way you'll not be disappointed. And is it possible to not expect? Of course not. <laughs> Who doesn't expect? So Who doesn't be, have expectations? Yeah, because mm -hmm. we need to be hopeful about true, something. True, true. There's no nature. way you will avoid disappointment. The only way you can do is start practicing what you call self-love. Mm -hmm. Love yourself too much. Ask yourself, what I'm facing right now, will it matter in two years to come? Mm -hmm. If not... Wake up, dust yourself, and move on. Mm -hmm. you, you, you've heard of people who've tried to uh, ride for presidency for many years in U.S., and they got it as the last-minute thing. They didn't give up. So ask yourself, is it worth to pursue it, or should I now move uh, to a different opportunity, career path, or something like that? Mm -hmm. But don't die while you're there. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, okay, so we have agreed that disappointment, it's there in life. Oh, yeah, it is. And it is very common. Mm -hmm. But... When is disappoint? When you know people face different types of disappointment, and some people have it mm -hmm. harder than others. Mm -hmm. So when is enough really enough? Enough, enough. Yeah. Uh, it becomes enough. Okay. How we can look at you and say that so and so is disappointed, and so and so it has taken a toll on this person. Mm -hmm. You notice, uh, it it is a, a, a it is a feeling. It's an emotion. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're very sad. Things didn't go your way. I want you to think of someone, you, you, you've been living uh, abroad, you've been sending money here so that they can build your house. Mm -hmm. You know that is common, we've heard those stories. Eh? Yeah. You send money, they tell you, now we are doing the roofing. How much? 100,000 you send. Now we are doing, I don't know the what, you send. Mm -hmm. On the material day when you come, you realize there was no such a house being built. Zile picho umekuwa kitumiwa? Your plot remains bare. You're so disappointed. How do we know that it has taken toll on you? One, you're very frustrated. You're constantly sad. Sadness, it who is explain you, you feel nothing excites you. Not a movie, not what. You're very, very sad. Mm -hmm. It comes with serious, terrible mood swings. A disappointed person has serious mood swings. Ataki kuongea na wewe. And when you try to talk to them, they, they, they answer you back. Baka unashindo, ah. <laughs> and it's very, it's very yeah. common nowadays. That's why I advise people, when you go and you're talking to someone, this person answers you rudely or, you know, answers you back in a way that you didn't expect. Please do not now start holding grudges. You will look funny. Mm -hmm. Because you do not know what is eating this person up, dust yourself and move on. You'll come back when the, this person's, mm -hmm. the moods are a bit approachable. Mm -hmm. You get it, eh? So it comes with the terrible mood swings. How else do we know that this person is disappointed? The signs to look for. Look for anger. This person is angry. Mm -hmm. Angry. Aggression. <laughs> One day we'll talk about the defense mechanism that people have. How you deal uh, with your issues. There's a way it portrays. Eh? Mm -hmm. One of the defense mechanism is projection. You, you project, project your to anger others. to people. Your boss angered you. You feel frustrated. You come home. You frustrate your wife. The wife is frustrated, it empties that the on the child. child. The child is frustrated, empties that on the cat. So the cat is bearing she does, <laughs> but ni boss mahali retriever yo kitu. That we call it projection. You're projecting your mm. feelings and your emotion to another person. Okay. You get it? Eh? So this person is angry 
very aggressive. So uh, in Nairobi, as you're moving the streets of Nairobi, if someone uh, st steps on you and does not even apologize, move. don't bother. Just, <laughs> just know they're dealing with their own issues. Mm -hmm. So when you go and you meet someone in an office and does not feel like talking to you, just know they're dealing with their own issues. You are not the problem. Mm -hmm. So it comes with that kind of anger. Another way is feeling lonely. This person feels lonely, alone. Mm -hmm. Right now, you are being called Muheshimua all over. Ukitoka tu hapo kwa soko, eh hey, Muheshimua tumesema ground inasema ni wewe. Utapitia wapi sasa? You feel like you're so lonely. You do not want to move to people. You do not want to talk to people. You've been dumped by your boyfriend two weeks before the wedding. You wonder, I had told everybody, even my grandmother in the village, they have even organized a local vehicle that will be ferrying them to Nairobi for my wedding. Now there is no wedding. Where do I start? You feel very lonely. So these people keep to themselves. Mm -hmm. They cry a lot if they're able to cry, which is still okay. They are trying to empty their, 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 their frustrations and their disappointment. Other than that, you would find that um, they get depressed. And uh, why we are here is because we would want to help people so that they avoid they get disappointment getting them to depression. Mm -hmm. A simple definition of depression is uh, a feeling of hopelessness because you've been stressed for too long. Okay. You've tried to remain very firm, you've tried to remain very strong, but now it has reached. Everybody, if you stretch someone, everybody oh has a limit up to what, up to what level can you uh, stretch this person. So we have stretched you. Life has stretched you. You've done everything. I know someone who is right now um, in the hospital and may God help that person because um, Ali fail in this uh, election thing. You had hoped everything was working very well, everything was working very well at the MCA. People were, t were telling you you are the one. All of a sudden you realize you are not the one. Mm -hmm. So you, you are not able to deal with that. So this person, if not well monitored, can lead to depression. That state of hopelessness, that state of feeling you're not worth, you have no energy. That's another sign. You have no energy to do anything. Even to wake up. Even, yani umebakishio tu energy ya kupumua. Just to breathe, you don't eat. Nothing excites you. Because a depressed person, when we're talking of, there are, there are many forms of depression, eh? but talking of clinical depression, mm -hmm. one of the characteristics of this person is that they are forever sad. Nothing excites them. Not their favorite movie, not their favorite food. They're just there. They are sad. They, they don't have emotions with them. Mm -hmm. they, they're just there. Nothing they can excite that person. Yes, they feel hopeless. They feel like, um, and most of them, they have suicidal thoughts. Is this other stages now to depression, mm -hmm. uh, to disappointment, because you have said it leads to now depression. Mm -hmm. Are there different stages that people should look out for? You know, you can be disappointed, but let it not get to you know, <laughs> this stage. To, to that stage. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, most people do not know how far is too far. Okay. Unless they are being helped probably by a therapist. A therapist sitting with you and listening to your 10 minutes talk will be able to know this person is at this level of dealing with stress. Eh? Mm. So too much stress leads to depression. Now, when you know that you need a therapist or you need to work on your disappointment, because people get disappointed. Uh, our to a football, my news, G chess, yeah. G Arsenal, nini, nini. You dust your, uh, yourself and you move on. Mm -hmm. But when you find that you are now not able to go back to your work, you're not able to do your daily routines, you're not able to relate well with people because another characteristic of depression, it cuts you off from people. Mm -hmm. You become a loner. You stay alone. Eh? So when you realize that you're no longer enjoying people's company, you're no longer eating as you're supposed to, you're no longer sleeping because those are the symptoms of depression. Either you're sleeping too much mm -hmm. or you're not sleeping at all. Okay. You, you, you have what you call insomnia, insomnia. Ab abnormal habits in sleeping. A normal you, you're supposed to sleep. You're tired, you sleep. So the moment you go to bed and you're not sleeping, something is disturbing you. And now if that is constant, it only worsens your depression state. So when you start noticing that you're being cut off, you are not eating well, you're not uh, doing your daily routine, a depressed person will even refuse to bathe. Mm -hmm. The normal things that these people do. Now, by the time it is coming to become psychosis and narcosis, it, it has moved to stages. Before one of them to a karatasi uko barabara, who hijans apo. So it starts all the it way. It starts from and, and uh, in, in a small way, in a small way, pole pole. Mm -hmm. So it is all about you and me to observe the people that we have around us. Mm -hmm. And you know, so and so of late, 
is not doing very well. I wonder why he's not jovial. I wonder why this person is keeping to themselves. I wonder why they are not happy. I wonder why when you are able to engage these people, you can help them. But the moment it crocks and now it goes to serious clinical depression, now that, that is when we take this person to a clinical psychologist so that you now put on medication. Okay. Yeah, so we can manage you before you, a I mean, a counselor can manage you before, before you, you go to the extreme clinical. end of medication. Because now when you're on medication, you can imagine where you are. Mm -hmm. You're almost towards the end. And most people, it's, 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 a, it's a, a slow f uh, way of death. You'll die slowly. When you, start, when you stop eating, when you stop relating to people, when you stop sleeping well, those are sure ways of dying. Okay. Yeah. All right. And where's the place of frustration mm -hmm. or is it interchangeably used with uh, uh, disappointment? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. If you go and check your dictionary, they might try to use that one interchangeably, but not. Disappointment is an emotion. Mm -hmm. Frustration is like the... The, the, the outcome of it. Uh -huh. w when you hear someone say, I'm very frustrated, you ask why so and so did this to me. So as a result of your frustrations, when you pile them, you become very disappointed. Very yeah. disappointed. So frustration is one term that you can try to interchangeably use it, but doesn't necessarily mean disappointment. Okay. Yeah, you can be frustrated because something has not worked your way, but that doesn't mean that you're that disappointed. Mm -hmm. Disappointment now comes in when you have piled all those things. The final end does not match the effort you had put in the beginning. When you don't get your goal, picture this, you want to build a house. You call the fundi and he tells you, yeah, 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 I know. I can't even try to draw the house you want. And it is <laughs> your pension that you're talking about. Uh -huh. After you, years of working here, you want a retirement home. The fundis draw for you the house, the house, and then uh, in a final resort. And then when you go there, you look at the house and the amount of money that you have invested in that house. You wonder, where did I go wrong? Mm. W what is happening to me? <laughs> this doesn't look anything close to what I asked for. It just looks there. I, nothing appealing at all. You are very disappointed. Okay. Yeah, it does not so match your expectation. Mm -hmm. So causes of disappointment that number one we will be able to look at is unmet expectation. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is number the main, one cause. The main cause. The main cause of disappointment in this world and is unmet expectation. All right. Don't take it for granted when your expectations are not met. Even when cooking food, you've heard of people talk of mashakura. Eh? Mm. Uh, imagine you have this wedding, you have an event, you've in, uh, invited all, all your special guests there, and uh, uh, um, uh, a chef comes in and tells you, uh, I'm going to do this event. I, I have my company, I have a catering uh, company, I'm going to do this. And the food they present to you, you look at it, you close your eyes. Okay. It does not yeah. look anything close to what you asked for. Mm. You are very disappointed. Why? They did not meet your expectation. Mm. And if you go around, looking around, even the people that are disappointed right now in marriage, in relationship, in their workplace, in their careers, everywhere, it is unmet expectation. That is number one. The expectation was up there. And what they got was down here. I, I, I saw something in, on social media about mm -hmm. uh, these online things that we buy. So someone saw a very nice um, a, a sofa, sofa set online, eh? a coach, and asked for it. And uh, was told, actually could not wonder, I wondered, ah, only 5,000. I am getting this one. I think it's on <laughs> offer. <laughs> After three days, whatever he asked for was, 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 was brought. And guess what? It was in a small container. It was a toy sofa. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what had you expected? You were saying, you Bayangu, I'm doing a total reform <laughs> of my house. Yeah. But what have you gotten? Something that was delivered in a it. box. My goodness. You get it, eh? Mm -hmm. So your expectation versus what you get. Lower your expectation. Mm -hmm. So that is number one cause. Number two, overconfidence. Okay. Overconfidence is actually number one recipe, number two recipe for disaster. When you're overconfident, picture this person, because overconfident people, maybe we can call them vibelembele. They mm -hmm. don't believe that there's anything else left to learn. They, yeah, they think they are all. Mr. and Mrs. Know it all. They have learned everything. They don't have a teachable spirit. Okay. So this person believes now I know everything. You approach the exam, you're a student with this overconfidence of yours. Where they had said which one of the following is not, you did not see the word not. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You just see which one of the following, and you answer because you had all the points ready. You are downloading. You know those people who used yeah. to download them more Kenya, and they go and write everything. So yeah, you're very so confident. You on, the, on the on the on the results day, you realize that you hammered a D, and you wonder never. Me, me, you can't even your statistics. <laughs> statistics, you can't even summarize Vizuri. I knew all the formulas. What happened? You read your questions your own way. Uh -huh. So overconfidence in anything, even in politics. Do not, you know, you are supposed to leave a room somewhere uh, so that people can correct you. Okay. But when people notice that you are not teachable, they cannot tell you anything, you're overconfident, you are up there. You will be disappointed you. and you'll be alone. Okay. So that is another What's cause the, of disappointment. What is the other one? Talk about over trusting. There are people even in marriage setup who over trust their spouses. I am not saying trusting is bad. Trusting is good. It so is good is to trust. Trusting, over trusting is now center. whereby you 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 put this person, if it's a husband, you put him in a cocoon and you believe that n he, he can't perfect. do. I mean, he he lives in heaven. Who anatoka binguni na kujia duniani, and then in the evening he goes back <laughs> to <laughs> heaven. I mean, leave a room for disappointment. Mm. Create a room knowing that he's a human being and human is to error, so he can err even himself. So do not over trust. And these are the kind of people when they are told. Ay, I saw Baba so and so with someone. This is something. Oh no! No 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 no! Him? No! You overprotect him. We have had all manner of cases, and one of them being someone who left the husband, told the husband, "I'm going abroad for a business trip." Nini nini nini. The husband drops the lady to JKIA. Then, after some time. The husband receives a call that uh, we have identified the body of so and so. Nini nini? Could you know? Ambia, no, my wife left. The broad. Unapatikana kisumu, but you are left in JKIA. Kumbe, there was no abroad that this lady was going. She was just around. Immediately, she was dropped. Then the other guy picks, and they go for a road drive. Are mm -hmm. you getting it? So when you have overtrusted somebody, you believe this person cannot do that. This person cannot do that. Those are the people who end up with You look at the person who is now the immediate friend, probably maybe the husband. At a way, Zilia, an angry at whom to a skia kaman as a muchapa makofi kwa kwa jeneza. Yeah, yeah, because you this person has broken your trust. So do not over trust anyone. Do not over. You can trust, but don't trust, trust. people, but do not over trust them. Okay. Leave a room for breakup. Leave a room for doubt. Mm -hmm. Doubt someone. Where well, Achia Nafasia, in case of anything, what would happen? So even your own children, I, I, I've seen, you know me, I'm in the education sector. So mm -hmm. I've seen all those parents, because pe children have a way of playing a double personality. Mm -hmm. They can be very nice to you at home. And very bad. Very school. different when they come to school. So when you report this person, because it is, ah, no, mtoto wangu. Ah, mtoto wangu, hawezi. Hawezi. Mm -hmm. Where until that day you'll come. I, I, I try telling one, one person about um, drugs. I'm being chunguza mtoto. I don't know why I have a feeling this child could be in drugs. So kasima mtoto wangu, ata dawa hajui, dawa za kulevia. Akua mejua hapi. She later confirmed that indeed the son was in there into drugs so what are we trying to say do not over trust leave some room i tembea ujiangalie in management there's something they call management by walking around mm -hmm. you walk around and see what people are doing don't just delegate walk around and see what you delegated are they doing it okay. otherwise if you sit there and you wait for resort you might be uh, you might be very disappointed in life okay. so over trusting mm -hmm. uh, we can talk about lack of mentors right. Um, in Kenya and in the world today, mm -hmm. if you want to go far, have a mentor. Have someone who mentors you. Mm -hmm. They have gone through what you are about to go through. They've gone ahead of you. They have gone ahead of you. They have experience. Don't be fooled by someone that experience is the best teacher. Not all the time. You, you, you do not wait for you to get HIV and AIDS so that you can now tell people, where HIV, HIV ni mbaya. So mm -hmm. you can be able to learn from people who have already gotten it and you can be able to avoid it. So when you have a mentor, probably maybe it's in a business setup. You have a mentor, this person will tell you, no, you want to go to Gikomba. This is the way, not this one. This is what we do it. So, that's, mm -hmm. so that is a solution to dealing with uh, disappointment. Having a it mentor. could be a solution and a lack of mentor is a cause. La oh, of a disappointment. A cause? Yes, okay. it's a cause. When you don't have a mentor, you will start hustling your own way. You will incur so many losses 
because you 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 didn't know you are you are doing what you call try and error method but if you have a mentor atakwambia you want to join business this is what we do i tried this it didn't work so probably can we try this can you do this so you already have a, a, a guideline on what to do most people have held in, in 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 life even in marriage even in what in whatever spheres of life because they did not have mentors so they end up very disappointed only if they had identified a mentor would have sorted all these things because you would know hapa niliambua nisikanyage hapa niliambua nisifanye hivi think of these upcoming musicians for example or even artists or even anyone that is upcoming if you don't have a mentor what are you likely to do you will do the same mistakes people did and they died and that was it they were long forgotten right. but if you have a mentor you you and dying doesn't mean necessarily literally dying you can die in your career I know there are musicians you used to hear but you no longer hear them today. Yeah. They committed a certain mistake and that was the end of that, their career. Okay. So when you have mentors they save you a lot of years of agony. You are able to you, years of disappointment. They save you a lot of disappointment. Mm -hmm. Even in football we have mentors, we have coaches, they are there and they are able to guide you. They are able to guide you. And when you appear before a coach usijifanye kimbelembele, just do things as they tell you. A mentor knows it. So yeah, just follow what they are saying. Observe, of course, with an open mind. And uh, when you follow that, it will save you disappointment. Okay. And now, mm -hmm. before we get to how exactly to deal with them, mm -hmm. does it affect people mm -hmm. uh, the same way, different ages? Because I'm thinking of a child. Mm -hmm. Does it affect a child the same way it affects uh, an older person? Yes. Disappointment is disappointment. And disappointment is an emotion emotion mm -hmm. and um, matters to do with um, psychology matters to do with the uh, mental health matters to do with um, feelings mm -hmm. there's no difference between an adult and a child okay. how it affects a child is the way it affects an adult the fact that for example think about a child this child is trying to pile the 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 the, the, the blocks and they are not working you're trying to arrange your vehicle to fix the, the, that that toy car and it's not it's very frustrated <laughs> because of that uh. and finally they cry talking about cbc mm -hmm. cbc every other day they come with something oh we were told to make a marionette now today we are making a puppet tomorrow we are making this yeah. the other day we make a scarecrow you make get it eh? yes make, uh -huh. every single day they are making different things so you've th you've told this nairobi child to go and make a, a puppet a marionette they have not seen it el elsewhere a scarecrow mm -hmm. they don't even have a shamba they're living in the city so they're trying to uh, you know fix things that they are not working they're very frustrated they cry mm -hmm. if you don't chip in as a parent this child is very disappointed uh -huh. so disappointment in children so the only difference is what disappoints a child is not what disappoints an adult, adult. but the feeling is the same Okay. So as a child, what you are disappointed when maybe when your child is they didn't hold a birthday for you, or maybe they they, they denied you permission to go and uh, play karongorongo and you felt very bad. That was a form of disappointment. Mm -hmm. When you came to adolescent, you were disappointed because probably they did not get you the outfit you wanted. Mm -hmm. Then you become an adult. You are dating. You are disappointed because your boyfriend did not do this. Then you go to marriage. You are disappointed because you go to career. So there are different levels and different um, uh, stimuli, if I may call them, but the feeling is the same. Okay. How this child will feel disappointed is how the, the old man feels will disappointed. Feel disappointed. Mm -hmm. So now, how do we deal with disappointment? How do we deal with disappointment? Thank you. Number one, lower your expectation. Mm -hmm. If possible, have none from people. Wakikusaidia, glory to God. If they do not, please just let it be like that. It's okay to have expectation, but not It is okay people. to have them, but manage them to the bare minimum. Let okay. them be da just down there. Don't expect too much from people. Mm -hmm. Personally, I've, I'm, I'm a church person, so I've seen people in different churches, and, and, and maybe they were hoping that um, uh, people will come in during my event. Uh, maybe you lost your, uh, your, your close relative, and people did not come in as you would expect. And you hear people say, Iyo kanisa sita wa nyanga tena. Uh -huh. Why? Your expectations were not met. Lower your expectations. Just work hard. Hard enough that you can be able to give a decent send-off to someone with just maybe kusaidua kidogo kidogo. But don't expect. Think of a wedding because hapo nipo watu wanatukula vicho kabisa. I mean, 
uh, okay, I'm, I'm not against anyone, by the way. Mm -hmm. But think of this person who wants to do a flashy wedding because you want to spend one million in your wedding or 800,000. Mm -hmm. And so you form a committee, unaweka kila mutu kwa WhatsApp group, wa church, wa youth, wa junior youth, siji wa wapi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody is incorporated there in the WhatsApp group. You want us to buy for you a wedding ring? You want us to buy for you the suit, the gown, we make your hair, we pay for food, we mm -hmm. pay for nothing. Decoration. And then you think, probably, ukiyono wakifanya arusi expensive, they have money. How much are they having? 10,000. Out of the 1 million money. budget, <laughs> they have 10,000. <laughs> Too much expectation in people. So they're expecting people to do what? Mm -hmm. To chip in 990,000. So someone comes and looks at it and I'm not to chase that away. I mean, how do you do? I mean, you can go to the edge and you do a wedding there. You can just do a simple wedding. The other day, there's someone who did a hundred bow wedding and they are still, wedding is wedding. Mm -hmm. What is important is the one meowana. So I'm not telling people to do that. Eh? But what I'm saying is, eh, lower your expectation. You would be very frustrated when you find that people have started lifting your group. Mm -hmm. What wana left? What wana left? Ama unaona wana pledge. It is one week to the wedding and that the budget is not even a quarter we met. Mm -hmm. You start wondering now what do we do? We had booked a very expensive hotel. We had mm -hmm. booked a limousine. What? We don't have the funds. So lower your expectation. Even in marriage. Okay. Go there as a friend. Do not expect mm -hmm. too much. Actually, I always advise couples. Give what you would want to receive. You want to receive love, give love. You want to have a friend, be a friend to that person. So do not go there expecting to receive. Ati mimi tangu nilingia hapa umze ni kama hata anipendi, does not do my hair, neither my, my nails or what, mm -hmm. does not take me what, ji, nini, nini. That your expectation is what is going to ruin you. If you only went there as a good wife, I hear people calling them good wife, when they do a good wife, you do your work, you do your what, you will not be uh, um, disappointed. Okay. So that is number one. Number two, we said, do not over trust. Don't over trust people. Leave a room where people can be able to, you know, you walk around and see what people are doing. Mm -hmm. Get to know. Leave a room. Yani, ata kama mtu anaka malaika. We don't have angels here. They live in heaven. So mm -hmm. just know that you can be disappointed by someone. Do not over trust people. Okay. Even when you delegate, be part of it. Just go and see what you're doing. When somebody comes and tells you that your child is doing this, usikuwe mwepezi wa kumkemea. Atia, my child, my daughter, my wanjiru, the way I know my wanjiru. You'll you be can't. disappointed that wanjiru. Uh -huh. na mima imetoshana hapo. <laughs> that is when you know that your wanjiru. <laughs> it hits you different. <laughs> yeah, it does. Where? It can kill you. Yeah. And, 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 and I think we need to talk to our people today. Yani, mtu wakipata, mtu wakipata amimba, do, don't make a mountain out of it. Because I think hakuna mtu huwa na bear that kind of loss like the mother of that child. Mm -hmm. All the women are talking behind your back. Haki yeah. unajua mstana waki ya mimba. Child of God, move on, eat and go your business. Si wewe ukonayo, <laughs> ni yeye. You, you will be killed by people. People can kill you by the way. If okay. you allow people, I started by telling you life is 1% mm -hmm. what happens to you and 99% how you react to it. Mm -hmm. So how are you reacting to what pe you'll be hearing? Because people will come and frame you with all form, form of things, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, Stephanie, atari fanya hivi, amefanya hivi. So how do you react to that? Your reaction matters. Mental, your mindset is, is everything. Your mindset is everything. So how you react to it will tell us whether you'll be disappointed or not. So leave a room. Okay. Do not over trust people. We have talked about mentors. Make sure that you have a mentor. At anajua mahali ulienda. And I did mention earlier that another form of, um, another cause is lack of proper planning. Mm -hmm. It will cause you disappointment, serious ones. When you don't plan, um, there's a famous quote that says that failure to plan planning. is planning to fail. Yeah. So when you don't plan, what are you expecting? Automatically, mm -hmm. the result will be negative. So you will be disappointed. So how do we help you now? Start planning. And planning comes in the form of, I, I'm sure you've, you've heard these people say, Guy, me, do you know me every other time I, I miss flight? I have to take the second flight and I pay double the amount. You've heard, you've heard yeah. that. Eh? Mm -hmm. Why? Why is that the case? Yeah, you only had a problem planning. with planning. Plan ahead. You know you, you, you are traveling. Plan ahead. It will solve you a lot of disappointment. See, you can be airport, you can cross corner to corner. Yeah. I, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't sound very nice exactly. that you're, being, you're the one sharing a meeting and you appear there with your everything with your laptop. Sweaty. You're greeting people and you're all sweaty. Yeah. You, you don't look composed. You will not deliver. So failure to plan is planning to fail. Mm -hmm. Plan ahead.
Uh -huh. You know you're going for an anniversary. Plan ahead. Usiamuki hiyo siku unamwambia guy babe, you know today is our anniversary akwambia hatuna pesa. Oh babe unipendi. You didn't plan ahead. Mm -hmm. So you it was a recipe for disappointment that you are preparing. <laughs> a recipe you knew it all along. <laughs> and women are smarter when it comes to dates. They they, they they know time and what so and so's birthday. Plan it way ahead. Usiamuke asubuhi itishe you'll be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, yeah, like true, a, true. Mm -hmm. uh, we've talked about overconfidence. Um, overconfident people, we only tell them, you are not Mr. and Mrs. Know It All. Okay. Leave a room for learning. Mm -hmm. Everybody can learn and anybody can teach you. Mm -hmm. Behind every nasty experience, there's a very good lesson behind it. Even in that disappointment, there's a lesson to learn from it. So, Take your time and learn. Mm -hmm. Learn. Learn as much as you can from everything. Ata kwa You are vying for a, a seat and you didn't get it. What lessons? Go and write five lessons learned from this. Next time, you'll be very smart. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And now, um, I wanted to ask you something. Mm -hmm. How important is it to, uh, you know, deal with mm -hmm. a disappointment? Because it's... Um, it can be easy to just overlook it mm -hmm. and move on with life mm -hmm. and not actually face what you you know what mm -hmm. you're dealing with mm -hmm. or is it okay to just overlook it and move on no you will not overlook it you know why mm -hmm. even when you pretend that you're okay you're still not okay yeah. it's not like uh, disappointment is not like a wound that you tell you you will have to constantly work on it you will be deliberately you have to take an action participate in you coming out of it mm -hmm. depending on what had caused your disappointment uh, we can tell this one might take time to heal this one is just I, I don't know whether I um, we had done a show earlier that we were talking about dealing with loss because talking disapp about disappointment mm -hmm. you cannot separate disappointment and loss Disappointment yeah. and loss is one and the same. Because where, when you have lost something, you are very disappointed. And there's this um, psychologist called uh, Kubra Loss. And he talked about the stages that people go through when they are facing loss. And loss, Stephanie, does not have to be uh, um, a death only because when we talk of oh, so-and-so is mourning, is grieving, you can grieve over many things. Maybe you are having a position in Good your workplace mm -hmm. and you are demoted. That's a loss. loss. You will grieve over it. Maybe you had a business and you closed it down. It's a form of loss. Maybe you were in a marriage and you separated or you're divorced. It's a form of loss. Maybe you are expectant and uh, you lost the baby. You miscarried. So that's a form of loss. So maybe you are walking along the streets of Nairobi and mm -hmm. somebody uh, just took, snatched your kibeti. It's a form of loss. So loss can be ma in, in many forms. Eh? So dealing with loss, number one, we talk of, uh, there's a stage I want to take you through. Uh, number one, we talk about denial. That is the first stage. When you have lost something, you go into, into denial. denial. You deny. Mm -hmm. You're being told so-and-so is dead. You say, no way. He even called me this morning. No, it cannot happen. You deny. After you realize that indeed, you go to the next stage of anger. You're very angry. Anger comes in many forms. You're angry at the nurses in the hospital who did not save him. You are angry at the ambulance that was not driven faster than you would have wanted. You are angry at everyone. I mean, you become very angry. After you're done with your anger, you realize ah, it's not working. You start bargaining. While you're bargaining, you start now giving reason. Oh, if this happened, this one would not have happened. This is when people start even having blame game. Alikufa kwa sababu yako. Niwewe ya ukufanya hivi. We failed in this test because you didn't do this. Maybe it's a football. It is because you are not scoring well, that is why. It is because so and so did not do this. Yeah? So people blame. You are bargaining. You are bargaining. It's a form of loss. It's a stage actually. After you're done bargaining, mm -hmm. you go to uh, depression. Okay. Depression is feeling empty, you, you've lost, you don't want anything, you, you don't want to talk about it, you don't want people to call you Muheshimua, you saw on Twitter the other day, mm -hmm. someone who lost, akapita kwa barabara akitusi watu wakiwambia, usi nite Muheshimua, musi wae jaribu kunita kwa harambe ya manini. So this person feels very bad. It's yeah. a form of loss. Mm -hmm. So after you're done with the uh, depression, if you're well helped, you go to the last stage. We call it acceptance. Acceptance. So acceptance stage, now you've moved on. If it is death, you've decided now to fit into the shoes of the person who have died. If it was a pastor, you now fit in. If it was the husband, the wife comes, or vice versa. So you've moved on. 
life now becomes no more to you those are the stages that people go through when you're faced uh, you, you you're faced with uh, with what you call loss mm -hmm. so your question all right i think you've you've pretty much answered it but now we want to mm -hmm. wrap it up mm -hmm. uh, by you talking to someone who's going through a so f form of disappointment currently mm -hmm. they have a heavy heart mm -hmm. and they're feeling frustrated mm -hmm. and uh, you know they have lost focus in whatever they they're doing mm -hmm. almost leading to depression mm -hmm. what do you tell them as we close i would tell them this number one it is normal what you're feeling is very normal mm -hmm. it is normal to feel disappointed unless you are a robot it is normal to feel disappointed but now what do you do you dust off you wake up and you start moving on. It is not as easy as we say it. But of course, you can look for coping mechanism. Mm -hmm. We always say, number one, eat well. Never, in all you are missing, never miss your food unless you are fasting. Mm -hmm. Don't miss your food. Do not miss your sleep unless you've agreed that you are, you are fasting your sleep. So eat well. Fa I mean, uh, uh, have quality sleep. Mm -hmm. Get some meditation, some form of meditation. It helps, uh, we call them in psychology, some kathasis. Eh? So kathasis are those things that you do so that you can empty your emotion. Mm -hmm. Someone who is good at music, get the best music. Dance yourself off. Listen to the um, uh, some captivating uh, movies, comedy. Listen to them. Something that will bring your mood back. Mm -hmm. Life is not over until it is over so how you react to these things matters a lot if you're feeling very much overwhelmed you see the therapist you see a counselor come to us we'll be able to walk you through the journey of loss because that is loss and probably we see that you've been able to accept and to move on ask yourself whatever i'm mourning right now will it matter in two years time if no actually will it matter in a year's time because right now jana. Today things are going on as normal. Right now they are going back to their work. Mm -hmm. Why? Life must move on. Must so move will on. this thing that is making you disappointed matter in two weeks time, in one month, in one year, in two years time? If not, dust yourself off and move on. And move on. Life is too much. There's too much to life that you can limit yourself to only one dimension. Right. I, I've seen people, they do not, don't have one skill. How many skills? Today, if you are not a presenter here, mm -hmm. we end up go, lima mboga, lima mboga, <laughs> uzia watu. Right. Farming is paying. Uh -huh. If you are not farming, compose a song, do something. You can be a script writer, you can be a poem writer. You can, I mean, there are many things that so you can do. Options. There are many things that you can do. So, if option A does not work, move to option B. If this one is not working, go to C and D. You have not exhausted at them all. When we were in primary school, I used to hear people say, Mtu wa kiacho alikuwa sema, ah, men are not 12 like the disciples of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there are many. There are many. So, <laughs> so do not limit yourself to only one option, especially mm -hmm. these young girls that are dating or even young men. Mm -hmm. And you feel like, ah, ni meachua now, my word has come to an end. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not over. They are so you only tested one option. Go to the other one and the other one and the other one. It's not possible that all of them will dump you unless you are the problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good place to end it. And <laughs> thank you very much, Zephora. Where can people get you on your social if they want to reach you? This mm -hmm. is your camera. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, uh, mm -hmm. Zipora Wanyeki. You can just go there and subscribe. You'll get more materials. Uh, on Facebook, um, Zipi Wanyeki. Uh, the other time we got numerous calls, numerous posts. We've been able to help people online, by the way. Awesome. Yeah, your show is being watched uh, a lot. I have several people that I'm counseling, courtesy of this show. Uh, other than that, um, at Twitter, I am Wanyeki One Zipora, so you can reach me there. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Zipora, for what you're doing and the impact you're having in the society. Thank mm -hmm. you for helping people with mm -hmm. mental awareness, mm -hmm. especially being a mental awareness month. Let me allow you to say something on mental awareness mm -hmm. and speaking against suicide, mm -hmm. having that uh, some days back on mm -hmm. Saturday, it was uh, Suicide Prevention Day mm -hmm. as we finally come to a close on this. Okay, thank you. Uh, we want to, one, sensitize our people and all our viewers that mental awareness uh, mental health is basically your mental wellness, spiritually, 
you well physically you well economically financially in all spheres of life you're doing mm. very well so we want to let you know that it is not wazimu you know people think you're seeing a counselor because una, una cheesy. that's what ah. people think eh? it's not about that it is all about being the wellness the total wellness around you so um committing suicide is actually not a solution to your problems Mm -hmm. It is only a beginning of another problem. Because think about this person who commits suicide. You've left your people mourning. You've left them uh, with cases to answer, with what, uh, with, with bills, the hospital, the mortuary, the burial bills. Uh, another person becomes depressed from your case. Now, if they decide to also follow suit, it means now in future, your generation will be over. So committing suicide is not, should be far from any person. As long as you can see a therapist, as long as, I mean, talk out your issues. Mm -hmm. Mental health is all about speaking. It is a problem spoken, shared, is halfway solved. Mm -hmm. We may not come in with all the solutions because by the end of the day, solutions lies within you. Mm -hmm. But we help you navigate your problems, your issues in life. So mental health is very important. It is good that we keep on checking ourselves. And even the friends that are around us, check how well they are doing. Mm -hmm. You notice this friend who used to be outgoing and is no longer outgoing. Please find out. Reach out to these people. You never know. Sometimes I had a story of someone who was found dead in the house four days later. So does it mean this person did have a close friend mm -hmm. So let us try to reach out to people. Let us try to encourage. And when you find someone who is struggling with that, refer them to churches. In churches, their counselors, uh, pastors can also assist in that area. And when they notice that this case requires a counselor, they will give them to us. Okay, mm -hmm. amazing. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, Zipporah, once again. You're welcome. That has been Zipporah Wanyeki, our counselor, talking to us about dealing with disappointment and how to go about it. I'm sure you've taken something from it. Life is 99% of how you react to the problems that you face. And being a mental health awareness month, make sure that you check on your friends. Reach out to that one friend who has changed their habits and just make sure that they are doing well. This has been Strength of a Woman. More is coming your way. So stick with us because Val is coming with WCW. We take a short break. We'll be right back.